can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to speak to a uh, deputy. I'd like to file a complaint, please. Okay. And what kind of complaint do you have? A uh, criminal complaint. Okay, what's your name? My name is Terry, T-E-R-R-Y, Nemers, N as in Nancy, E, M as in Mary, M as in Mary, E-R-S. And where do you live, Terry? I live in Glenwood. Your address there? It's uh, two, uh, 20179 County Road 28, and the zip is 56334. And a phone number for you, Terry? Sure. 320-283-5713. And what's the issue? Uh, well, on uh, March 18th of this year, I submitted a data request to Chief uh, Jeff Cook of the Coleraine Police Department. Okay. And uh, by law, you're supposed to have 10 days to respond and uh, send a confirmation that you've received it, categorizing whatever type of data it is and you're processing it, or you're supposed to immediately submit it, and uh, after 10 days, well, I think you're in trouble. Well, anyhow, uh, I submitted the email on the 18th and never heard anything from the chief, so on the 20th, I contacted the, uh, I called up the police department, no one was there, so I ended up talking to a uh, Sandy, uh, let's see, what's her name here? Bluntock. She's a clerk at uh, Coleraine, and uh, she's a pretty rude person, so eventually I got to got a hold of the uh, city minister, or city uh, attorney's office, Mr. Uh, John Dimmich, and I spoke to a Penny there. And uh, I told her the situation, and uh, she took my information, and I submitted her an email later on, uh, just a few minutes after I called her. And then a few days later, let's see, where's her email here? Let's see. 22nd, I received an email for her saying, and she said, just letting you know I'm getting the information together, and we'll mail it to you as soon as I have it all. Penny, Dimmich Law Office, and I sent her a response, thanks, Penny, Terry. Then on the 25th, I received a, an email from the Coleraine Police, received your request, and we'll get it to you as soon as I can, uh, Jeff Cook. And then I didn't hear anything, and then yesterday, I called up Penny at Dimmich Law Office, wanting to speak actually to the uh, city attorney, but uh, she hung up on me after I asked her you know what was going on with the the information and she started giving this cock and bull story how the the chief was on vacation for two weeks well that shows complete contempt for his job to start with and and uh, also the day that uh, I uh, called on the 20th they were updating their Facebook page so I brought that up and I recorded both conversations um, on the 20th and the 20 uh, yesterday's the uh, 18th of April and I put them up on YouTube so uh, I have it in an email and I have the original data request and I have the email address for Vic Williams and I'm gonna send that to him so um, that information's there whoever's gonna be responsible for that can contact uh, Sheriff Vic so that's the situation. Pursuant to Minnesota Statute 609.43, Section 1, says intent uh, a public official, a public officer, employee who does any of the following for any other, uh, for which no other sentence is specifically prohibited by by law, may be sentenced or imprisoned for no more than a year, or payment to a fine of not more than three thousand dollars or both for one intentionally fails or refuses to perform a known mandatory, non-discretionary ministry ministerial duty of officer employment within the time or in the manner required by law and on the data request it specifically states timely response required access immediate or within 10, ten business days and that's pursuant to the Minnesota Department of uh, Administration's website and their advisories are 03-031 
and 04-070. Yeah, and I heard you right say you're going to email Vic some information, correct? Yes, he, I already set that off. It's in his email box right now. Okay, um, I do have your information here, but what else I'm going to do here is I'm going to get you over to one of our investigators. Okay. To speak with him, okay? Okay, sounds great. All right, one moment. Thank you. Yeah, how's it going today? Okay. Well, that's good. This is Terry Nemers. I'm calling to file a complaint against the okay. Col Colerain Police Chief for failing to produce or produce data pursuant to the Minnesota Data Practice Request. Or yeah. Okay. Sir, do you understand you just called the sheriff's office? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, I know where I'm calling. Got a complaint against the Colerain Police Department. Uh, I called the Colerain Police Department yesterday, or the uh, uh, city attorney's office. And I talked to a penny who hung up on me, so I called back and reported to, uh, left a voicemail on Mr. Dimmitt. She didn't give you a kind and courteous response? No, she did not. Okay. She hung up on me. She copped an attitude because I was telling her it wasn't my problem that the chief of police wasn't doing his job. Okay. And I wanted to report it to the city, uh, city attorney, and she okay. got an attitude. I have the whole conversation recorded. I just was telling your uh, dispatcher there uh -huh. uh, that I emailed it to uh, Sheriff Vic, both emails and the copy of the um, the data request I submitted. So that should be sitting in uh, Sheriff Vic's uh, email, at, or email box right now. Okay. So I have both conversations with the uh, city offices uh -huh. on, let's see, what day was that? The 20th of March. And yesterday, which is April 18th, so again, uh, the data practices are supposed to be submitted or supposed to be processed within 10 days. Actually, they're supposed to be processed immediately, and if not, then within 10 days, which of course what did not happen. Okay. So, um, and what I found also kind of strange, I just noticed that this morning, the data request I submitted was for a Jamie Carl Gilbert. One of your deputies apparently was drunk driving in Coleraine, and uh, the prosecutor just happened to be John P. Dimmich. Okay. You know, so I think maybe Mr. Dimmich didn't want me to be looking into that too closely because I think that would be a conflict of interest. And according to the newspaper article, it looked like uh, Deputy Gilbert was interfering with the lawful process by refusing to produce a driver's license. So. Okay. And I don't think that they probably appreciated the YouTube videos I put up either, so probably a little retaliation in there too, so. Okay, what can I do for you today then? Well, uh, what I want to do is file a complaint for uh, criminal misconduct of a public official for refusing to do his job. Mm -hmm. uh, Minnesota Statute 609.43, uh -huh. a public officer employee who does any of the following for which no other sentence is specifically prohibited or provided by law, may be sentenced or imprisoned for not more than a year or payment of a fine of not more than $3,000 both for one, intentionally fails or refuses to perform a known mandatory, non-discretionary ministerial duty of office or employment within the time or manner required by law. Okay. And uh, according to Penny, before she hung up on me, she was trying to come up with some cock and bull story that the chief was on uh, vacation for a couple of weeks. Well. If that was the case, then he should have done his job before he went off on vacation. Okay. So, um, obviously, you know, just blatant disregard for their job. You know, like I said, contempt for me, you know, because I was treated rudely by not only the city office, uh, that uh, Sandy uh, Bluntock. At first, you know, Penny was kind, courteous, and helpful, and then all of a sudden the true, her true colors came out yesterday. And uh, when I left a voicemail for Mr. Dimmich, uh, it said he was there and uh, he would return phone calls, but of course he didn't. So I figure he's just uh, lowering, lawyering himself up to cover up this uh, blatant uh, disregard for the law here. Okay. Can I get your full name, please? Sure. It's Terry, T as in Tom, E-R-R-Y, Nemers, N as in Nancy, E. Amazon Mary, Amazon Mary, E R S. Can your middle name? 
Uh, Dean. D E A N. Your date of birth, please. Three six sixty two. Two zero one seven nine County Road twenty eight Glenwood five six three three four. And that's Glenwood, Minnesota, correct? Yes. What's a good contact number for you, Terry? Three two zero two eight three five seven one three. Okay. And you want to file a complaint against the Colerain officer or Mr. Dimage? Well, uh, the only thing I can for sure prove is that uh, Jeff Cook has not done his job. Now, whether or not uh, Mr. Dimmich has told him not to do his job or not, you know, the presumption is that's what it is, but, you know, I can't say for sure that's what it is. Okay. So, you know, however, whatever uh, gets turned up, I gets, 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 gets turned up. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, I do want to say something, though, that I really don't trust uh, the Itasca County Sheriff's Department to, to do a, a complete investigation on this. Okay. Because uh, I think you might be aware of my YouTube channel and my videos I've been putting up about John Lom and uh, about his... Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, I do. Arrested Judge Kit. Okay. You'll see the uh, YouTube that I attached on to the... Um, onto the data request. It's uh, my conversation with Sheriff Vic. Okay. So I really don't think that uh, any serious investigation will take place in, in um, you know, through your office. And I don't think I'll get any justice there either. All right. So. Well, you have the right to your opinion. Well, it's it's opinion based on fact, so. Okay. So otherwise, I think I'm, I'm done unless you need some more information. Oh, I've got your information here. Okay, thank you. Appreciate your time. Yeah, bye. Good day now. Yep, you too. Bye.